Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to another video. So, last summer I did a load of courses, eBay related courses, on a site called Skillshare. And now I've decided to migrate those courses over from that website to YouTube. So there's going to be loads of different beginner courses that are going to be coming over here uh, for you guys to view on this YouTube channel. So with that being said, the next video you're going to, uh, going to see is obviously one of those courses. Um, so yeah. Hope you enjoy. Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to another video course on Skillfeed. So, in this video course, what you're going to learn is eight ways um, how I like to increase my sales or how I uh, can actually increase my sales if they are slow. This is a great time for me to be doing this course because obviously the summer, i.e. sort of May to July, normally a lot of eBay sellers find the summer incredibly slow. So hopefully some of these tips and tricks will help you. So if you don't know who I am, I am an eBay seller, a full-time eBay seller of two years and I've been reselling on eBay professionally for three years. I have been reselling prior to that when I was younger, but I don't really class that as part of my my professional career because I was just sort of messing about with it but that's who I am if you would like to learn more about eBay selling and also online selling in other areas such as merch by Amazon Amazon FBA that sort of stuff you will find courses on those over on my channel as well as a recent course that I would like to draw your attention to which is uh, how to list your items on eBay course so if you are you are a beginner what I would suggest you do is watch that course and then let's say you're not particularly getting the results you would like from your listings you can come over and watch this course which is specific to how you can actually increase your sales and get the results you actually want to on eBay. So without further ado, I'm going to break this into about three or four videos and we're going to go through a couple of tips in each video. So guys, the first tip I'm going to share with you is to have a sale. So these aren't necessarily in any order. Um, so this one isn't necessarily the best tip or vice versa. You know, the last one isn't necessarily the worst or isn't necessarily the best. However, um, this one is a good tip. Have a sale. Uh, you can actually run a sale in the Markdown Manager area. Um, I believe it's in the Manage Your Shop section. It is important to note you do need a shop or a pretty sure you need a shop to actually run an eBay sale but if you have a shop then yeah definitely make use of this have a sale generally I find a 10% sort of sale works well you can do what you would like if you want to do a 20% 30% whatever that's fine obviously you would imagine that a 20% sale or a 30% sale would have uh, double or triple the effectiveness of a 10% sale that's not always the case but certainly the bigger the discount, it should attract more sales. Now, obviously people are going to see in search and when they click into your listings, uh, the sale banner saying, you know, this item is 10% off and that really does help. That does actually bring in a few more people. Obviously when people notice it in search, that brings in a few more people and it brings in a few more sales. So having a sale is a great way, although it does mean taking a little bit less on your items so you're gonna you're gonna have to make sure that you've got profit on these items even after the sale discount but having a sale is a great one and that is my tip number one so number two is something called promoted listings or eBay promote your listings is what they market it as and basically it's where for a set percentage of the sale that you you decide I believe it's anywhere from minimum of about 1% to maybe upwards of 10 or 12% it might even be whatever I'm not I'm not 100% sure on that but I believe it's in that sort of range anyway and uh, I know I normally choose on this I do run promoted listings and I normally choose about five or six percent so it's actually worth your while to do promotions promoted listings if you're going to select less than 10% as a uh, sort of what they call an ad fee or a percentage that they're going to take away from a sale it's actually more worth doing that than running a sale if you are deciding to run a sale at 10% or greater because your promoted listings will cost you less than the sale would cost you so what happens with promoted listings what the actual 
thing actually does is eBay will promote your listings. They will uh, show it, show them in search. Basically, it will basically run an ad campaign for your listing and show them at the top of search results and things like that. People will then click on to be onto your listing. You do not get charged per click. You do not get charged on a cost per click basis. You only get charged when the item sells at the specific percentage weight you have selected so that is really really good you, you know most most things like google adwords or anything like that any of these uh you know advertising platforms they will work on a cost per click basis so even if you don't get a sale or you don't get a lead or anything like that they will still charge you so it is pretty good in that respect however there is some controversy with promoted listings on whether eBay is basically just try. It's another way of eBay just getting more fees out out of us as sellers. So there's a bit of controversy with promoted listings, but again, it's a great way. Whenever I turn on promoted listings, lo and behold, I get a uh, big increase in sales the next couple of days. Not massive, massive, but certainly noticeable. A notable, noticeable increase in sales. So promoted listings is perfect for instant sales, really, or sales within the next few days you're almost guaranteed sales in one way i don't particularly like saying guaranteed because not a lot in life is guaranteed but it is almost guaranteed sales so it's pretty decent so yeah that is ebay promoted listings so another thing you can do and this works quite well actually is rephoto and retitle your items so it, let's say that you um, have maybe improved the quality of your photos and your photography area in the last six months. However, you've still got items on from 12 months ago that, that have pretty poor photos. Well, what you want to do is re-photo those items on your better photography area and maybe just pad the title out a little bit more, maybe get a little bit more, a few more keywords in there, maybe help it rank in search a little bit better or help it show up in search a little bit better. Then this will appear like a new listing to a lot of people. So people who maybe visit your shop regularly looking for new items from yourself um, may see the item and may think, oh, that's, that's a new item and may be intrigued by that. And maybe they've seen it before, but they weren't particularly as interested because the photo was very poor or the title was very poor. But now they've seen it in a new light they can really get on board with the item and actually want to buy it. So re-photographing, retitling your listings is a big, big tip. And it also helps give raise that bar of professionalism in your store and in your on your eBay account overall. So definitely, definitely try out re-photographing and retitling your items because it just helps the professionalism of your store. And also, if nothing else, it helps that. But it, you know, it could also trigger a sale as well. So that is a definite uh, good strong tip there. And then the other one is simply to list more items. So everyone says this, every eBay seller will say, are your sales slow? If they are slow, just list more items and then the sales will come back. Well, that is entirely true. If you do list more items, the chances are your sales will come back and you will grow revenue week on week, month on week, uh, week on week, month on week, week on week, month by month, um, if you continually list and if you have that consistency with your listing. I can't necessarily tell you a figure of the amount you should list a day. It differs for everybody and it depends on the value of items you're listing, what you need out of your eBay journey, whether you need to support a family, whether you're, whether you're a full-time seller like I am, or just a part-time seller. But certainly I try to aim for a minimum of about 10 listings a day. So yeah, listing more items is, is key really. So if my sales are slow, and I'm, you know, one week I'm listing 10 items a day for maybe five or six days of that week. I'll think to myself, you know what, maybe I should raise the bar to 15 or 20 items a day just for the time being, just to get those sales back rolling a little bit. So actually listing more items is great. And again, it freshens up your store, especially for those uh, dedicated buyers or dedicated browsers who come back to your store week on week looking for new items and basically giving you or wanting to give you your repeat custom because they had a good experience with you in the past. So there are another two tips on this course. So this tip refers to best offer 
And I know that causes some controversy because some people really dislike Best Offer, others really like it. The ones who dislike it generally dislike it because they get lowball offers or what's referred to as lowball offers in the reselling community. And what that essentially means is you might have a £20 uh, item up for sale and then someone you have best offer on that and someone can uh, make you an offer on that item for whatever price they want and they send you a £2 offer on that item. So I can understand why some resellers, some eBay sellers, can get a little bit frustrated and don't like to have best offer on. However, it's almost a fact at this point that having best offer on a large amount of your items will mean that you will get more activity on your store, you will get some best offers, and maybe one of those best offers is worthy in your opinion to be accepted and then that is another sale so adding best offer if sales are really slow is a great way of actually just increasing the activity and there's also a theory out there again it's just a theory so i can't prove this but if you have a large amount of best offers or maybe three or four best offers that are sat on your account that you actually leave active um, there is a theory that goes the items that those best offers are still active on or still open on, those items will get a little bit of a boost by eBay. It is a theory, it's not 100%, but I thought I would at least uh, sort of share that with you. Um, but certainly what I can say is best offer should help you get a few offers in, and if one of them is acceptable in your opinion, then that's a sale that you didn't have before if you didn't have best offer enabled. So add best offer to your listings. You can do this in bulk. Um, if you just select your inventory, you can select your inventory in batches of 500. If you click the, if basically if you click the edit at the top of your inventory, it'll say edit one to 500, edit 500 to 1,000 and so on and so on, depending how large your inventory is. So then it will go into the bulk editor and then you can choose to add best offer as one of the options in the edit tab. So you can actually do that really easily. You can do it on a bulk scale. So that is great really. It won't take up too much of your time. Again, like having a sale or like running promoted listings, you may have to take a little bit less of your items as well, which is a shame, but Still, it's it's something you kind of have to do if you want to catch sales. Not all the time. As I say, there's ways in this course that I've shared and that I will share in the next video uh, how you can actually get sales without reducing your prices and actually get the full price for your listings. So the next one, again, relates to price, uh, and that is repricing your inventory. But as I just talked about, I'm not going to necessarily, necessarily just say reprice your inventory lower. That might be what you're thinking. However, I've actually repriced my, my inventory, my entire inventory of over 1,000 items. I've actually repriced it by upwards of 5% before. I've actually increased the price up by 5% and ended up getting sales of certain items by doing that. Now, this basic the theory goes with this if you've got watches on those items they will get a notification or they will most likely get a notification from ebay that, that tells them that there's a price change and then if they see that it's gone up by five percent some people can maybe feel a bit more pressured into buying because they think you or they fear you might actually put the price up in the future so I've talked to a lot of different sellers and they have seen this as well as me, it's not just me, that if they do this, if they reprice their inventory up by only, I would say only 2% or 5%, if you go too much higher, it might not work the same, but you know, 2% to 5%, then you may actually get a sale from that and you've actually increased the price. So you can do that, it doesn't work for everyone but it might work for you on occasion. Again, you can also choose to reprice your inventory down a little bit on the whole by a set percentage or by a set amount in pounds or dollars or whatever country you're in, whatever the currency is. So repricing your inventory is another big one and don't brush that off. Maybe go in, maybe just reprice certain items. You don't necessarily need to reprice everything, but just certain items, certainly not to be sniffed at. You should at least be considering that one. It's a decent tip. 
Right then, so another tip. So this one uh, is in relation to flipping items from buy it now to auction. So you might be thinking, well, what does this actually entail? Well, you have a button on your eBay store, I believe it's actually on your inventory, where you can select certain items and you can send them to an online auction or send them from fixed price to an auction. It'll be something along those lines, the button's titled, and you can actually send certain buy it now items, well, any buy it now item, but you can select certain ones that you would like to send over to a seven day auction, a 10 day auction, three day auction, whatever. So if you've got some maybe stagnant stock that maybe a little bit too high priced or something like that and it's not going or maybe it's just sort of in line with everyone else but it just doesn't seem to go and you look you do a bit of research on uh, completing and sold listings if you'd like to learn more about how to research on ebay i would suggest you check out my other course on how to list an item on ebay i go through um how to cover i, I cover basically how to research ebay items effectively on ebay sold listings but basically you could go into the sold listings for that item that you've got on the auction tab by filtering it by auction and you could maybe see that it sells better on auction or there's more uh, sales velocity on auction so you can actually convert that item over to a seven day auction i would suggest doing sunday to sunday because that's the best day generally to finish auctions on a sunday um, and then you might actually be able to get a sale on that next sunday from doing so and that is again almost a guaranteed sale now auctions aren't necessarily necessarily completely guaranteed but they almost are guaranteed it's as good as if you've got the right items for auction it's as good as a sale when you put it on auction there's certain items that won't go on auction even if you put them on at 99p or 199 it is very dependent on the quality of the item but if you've got decent quality item, you can quite happily do that and then get a sale that way. So that's another way you can quite comfortably get another sale. And then finally, I just wanted to talk about something that everyone brushes over, but I do feel like this is important to talk about. And that is just increasing your activity on eBay. Now, what does that mean? I don't mean listings. I don't mean adding best offer or anything like that. All I simply mean is answering messages, is being on your eBay account, updating listings, all that sort of stuff, just general, uh, basically general admin, I would call it, on eBay. Because when I'm active on eBay, when my account, when I'm on my account regularly, obviously that is good in eBay's eyes. If, you're, if you've got an account that you've not visited for 30 days or two months, then eBay are gonna notice that. I know that maybe people uh, might think, well, eBay wouldn't check any of that sort of stuff, but believe me, my experience with eBay is that they are pretty clued up on a lot of the things we do as sellers. So if they see that an account has been inactive for 30 days or 60 days, I really do feel that they're gonna bump down those listings or in the search, or they're not gonna pay that uh, that much attention to that account. Whereas if someone's active every day, they're gonna be focused more on that account and they're gonna want that account to do well because they are active in answering the messages, in doing admin, in you know printing off postage labels on the eBay site or anything like that. Just generally being active will help the flow of your account and just help It'll just help let eBay know that you are taking this seriously as well because you're on there every day, day in, day out, whether that's to do with listing or just general other stuff. So I'm going to leave it there, guys. Thank you very much for watching this course. If you have any more tips or tricks, if you are a dab hand at this and you feel like you've got any more tips or tricks to share, then you can get in touch with me. I have uh, now put links on my Skillshare profile, so you can get in touch with me, have a conversation with me about it. Also, if you feel uh, you would like any more tips, again, just get in touch with me. I'm sure I can come up with a few more tips that'll help you out. Um, and as I said, don't forget to check out my other courses on my bio as well, so on my actual skill, uh, Skillshare page. So I will leave it there guys, thank you very much for joining me on this course, and I will be back very soon with another course for you on eBay reselling. So take care and I'll see you soon.